What's up YouTube? Carlob Manila here back with another video. Today is going to be the second episode of our sports cards pickup series and we do have a couple of packages that arrived from the US last week and also some local pickups that I got probably around a month ago and I thought it would be a good idea to just show them all together in this episode. Anyway, this is not really a big reveal. These are just, I think, six or seven cards. So this is going to be a relatively short episode. Cards are also nothing big. Um, just some cards that I've been wanting to get since last year. But, you know, I just waited for the prices to go down a bit. Everybody knows that the card market is a little soft right now. And... It's actually a really good time to buy the cards that you want. I guess we can start. Uh, by the way, I've pre-opened these packages to save some time. Um, but the good news is um, all of these were packed properly. So kudos to the eBay sellers that I got these cards from. So the first two cards that I got was, um, you know, rookie parallels of... Jordan Nuora and Jaden McDaniels. These were the Mosaic Green and I think this is the Blue Reactive for Jaden McDaniels. So uh, I think I've mentioned that I'm collecting these two cards. These are my investment picks for last year's draft class and you know, always good to to be able to get rookie parallels of, of these two players. So there. So Nice pickups for these two. On to the next package. I think this is going to be, yes, um, it's going to be the slam insert set. So these are really one of the nicer inserts coming from the Panini Hoops retail product. So we have here a hollow Vince Carter or Air Canada card from last year's Hoops. And we also have here Zion. It's also the hollow version. And this one is from this year's uh, Hoops product. So 2021-2022, right? So this is Luka Doncic, also a hollow. And we also have here LeBron James, um, hollow version, also from last year's product. And, and then we have the Black Mamba himself, Kobe Bryant, also from last year's Hoops release. So all, all five cards are the hollow version. So they're a bit more expensive compared to the base version, but you know, I prefer to get them because, uh, you know, they tend to hold value better over the long term. Plus, you know, they just look nicer, you know, with the shine and the reflection. So, happy to have um, this slam insert set. Should probably be getting more. Um, there are some other nicer cards there, but... Uh, Let's see if we can find those in a good price. So next package, um, we have here another insert set. So this one is uh, last year's um, Dunras Marvels insert. Net Marvels insert, sorry. So we have here Jason Tatum and um, Luka Doncic. So if you'll notice when I buy cards, right... Um, I always buy them in a set or as much as possible if I can buy them from one seller, even better, right? Saves you on shipping cost and handling cost and all of that. So the got these two at a great price also. These were pretty expensive when they first came out last year. So the third package... Uh, So another set of inserts, same players, 
Jason Tatum and Luka Doncic, but this time around, this is the Optic My House uh, Prism version. Again, as mentioned, I, I prefer to get the Prism Hollow or Foil versions of the inserts, right? Just better value across the board and definitely nicer looking. So these were also last year's product, right? So that's another tip. As much as possible, um, if you can hold off and wait, um, buy, don't buy, right? When the product releases because uh, that's when the cards are at their highest or the prices are at their highest. Just, just wait a bit. Uh, in this case, this is probably six or seven months ago when they were first released and now the prices are considerably lower you know even for the net marvels and the slam cards although i didn't really follow that tip when i got the luca holo because that was a good deal actually so i bought it when i saw it being posted so this next card so really happy with this next card because um I was really searching for it ever since I got that uh, Lamello Ball teal parallel. So it's it's team colored parallel, right, of the rookie card. So I went and tried looking for this card. Unfortunately, since this is a numbered card, I think it's numbered to just 99, right? They don't really come up in eBay a lot. But uh, that's another tip. So if you are looking for a card that's currently not available in eBay or that's expensive, there's a there's a, a saved search function I think there wherein eBay will no eBay will notify you if a card comes up for sale or for auction there. So this one is exactly what happened, right? So once I got that card and I started looking for this card because you can only get this from the hobby version of chronicles uh so it's it's more prudent to just buy the card right than than buying the box and hoping to get this and since it's numbered it's probably not going to be an easy an easy get right so anyway uh, luckily for me you know i got a notification and i started bidding on the card and i was the only bidder actually so might have been a little bit of an overpay, but still happy to get this card to pair it with um, Lamello, right? So rookie cards of Anthony Edwards and Lamello Ball, both in their team colored parallels. Anyway, on to the next. So this one is uh, one of the two cards that I picked up locally. So this one is just... Uh, Fleer Decade of Excellence uh, Michael Jordan Rookie Card Tribute Card. So I got this actually as a graded slab um, WGC or WCG but um, didn't really care for the grade there. And uh, so what I did was I just cracked the slab and put it in a top loader. So that's the reason why this was displayed here. So... I wanted to, you know, pair these two cards. These are the great 80s players. You have Bird, Julius Irving, and Magic Johnson. Then you also have uh, Michael Jordan here, right? These are both sort of like reissues or tributes to their original rookie cards. So great to have these two cards um, alongside each other. Anyway, for the last card that I have, uh, this one's pretty different. So, this one is a custom Kobe Bryant uh, Prism card. So, the last time Kobe appeared in Prism was for the 2019-2020 set. Uh, he wasn't part of uh, last year's 2020 set, right? So, but I was able to... Um, find this uh, in one of our local stores here in Manila and price wasn't so bad and the card looked good right so nice to have this so this is a custom card this is not an official panini card but 
still great to have this. So if you want to look at the back, there's some. It's a pretty thick card, and uh, you know, looks good. Nice to add it to your collection or to my collection. So that's it for this episode. Uh, hope you enjoyed our mail day reveals or sports card pickups reveal. And um, for those who haven't um, subscribed to the channel, kindly do so. And please also like this video, um, comment, and click on the notification bell. So that you'll be alerted when we have a new video up. Thanks again everyone and see you all in our next video.